This afternoon, President Biden met with family members of WNBA star Brittany Griner and Marine veteran Paul Whelan as the administration works to secure their release from Russian prisons. CBS's Nancy Cordes has the latest details from the White House. I am innocent of any charge resulting from this potential kidnapping. Nearly four years after Paul Whelan was first arrested in Russia, his sister got her first meeting with the president today, along with the wife of basketball star Brittany Griner, who was detained in February for possessing a trace amount of cannabis oil. I had no intent to break any Russian law. The two are living behind bars in diplomatic limbo. Back in June, the U.S. offered Russia a prisoner swap, Reiner and Whalen in exchange for convicted Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. We have put forward a, a substantial proposal to, to Russia. But the U.S. heard nothing until early August, after Greiner was sentenced to nine years in a penal colony. I love my family. Only then did Russia's foreign minister say the Kremlin is ready to discuss this topic. D discussions are ongoing. Sadly, we don't have a result here to tell you about. But the negotiations are now taking place, and the Russians have made some kind of significant response? They have not responded to... Uh, our offer. But that doesn't mean that, that that we're not still in negotiations and we're not still trying. Waylon and Griner's families have expressed frustration with the slow pace and scant details. They are not moving. They are not doing anything. But today's meeting may have mended fences. Paul Whelan's brother tells CBS News, we appreciate President Biden's concern for our family. This meeting reassures us that Paul's case is still a priority for his administration. White House aides say what the president wanted to convey to these family members face to face today is that this situation is still a top priority for him, even if he can't give them the news that they're hoping to hear, which is that their loved ones are coming home. Nora. Nancy Cordes, thank you.